What is up YouTube? I'm Mark and welcome back to Swamp and Stomp. So in today's video we're going to be showing you the second half of our scouting trip to Kentucky. Um, and this was a, just an awesome trip because we got to really learn like this new habitat that we don't usually hunt. And we're actually going to be heading up to Kentucky for a week long hunt in just a few days. So we're super excited to be getting a lot of content to put out for you guys while we're there. And in case you guys haven't seen it yet. Just a couple days ago, Danny smashed a stud eight point uh, down here in South Florida. We were super stoked about it. If you haven't seen that video yet, you can watch it right up here. The real reason that I'm sitting here in front of the camera while I'm editing the video that you're about to watch is because I have an important announcement. We recently joined forces with Arrow Hunter Saddles. So in the future, once we get our new saddles, you're going to be seeing us hunting out of those. And because we appreciate all the support that you guys give us, we want to give you one of their saddles. So in our upcoming giveaway, our quarterly giveaway, that's what we'll be giving away. So if you want to make sure that you can get in on that giveaway, make sure that you're subscribed to the channel. Um, and we'll be putting up a video pretty soon about all the details of how you can enter that giveaway. You can join our Patreon page, and at the end of the video, I'll give more information about that. But that's going to get you a whole bunch of extra entries that will increase your chances to win this saddle. Alright guys, it's day two of our scouting trip here in Kentucky. Yesterday we uh, focused on a couple areas that um, had some pretty good sign. Uh, we checked out one other one. Uh, there was a lot of deer sign, but mostly smaller tracks, so uh, we don't really think there's uh, big bucks hanging out there. Um, we did run into a few does over there. Today we're going to go out to the areas that we, we found good bucks on um, we're gonna put out a couple more cameras and really uh, try and pick it apart as much as we can before uh, we got to go head to the airport and head back to Florida so Little buck. I don't know, a little tiny buck right there. Big ass doe. I'm 
sorry. So we're working up this, we're working our way up this ridge. And two years ago when I hunted here, this is where we hunted. Um, I was actually hunting at the very top of the ridge and I was able to shoot a deer, but it was my first deer I ever lost with my, with my bow, my first out of state hunt. So it's kind of like a redemption trip. But anyway, besides the point, <laughs> um, it's a really cool habitat. You guys can see, kind of look around. It's really, really neat. It's kind of different from everything else that we've been poking around in. Yeah, it's really easy to move around in here. So, so as we were coming up, we actually, we're pretty sure we saw a deer, but all we could see was just the tail flickering. Yeah, we saw like, the brown moving, moving through. So, they definitely seem to move through this area. And, and there's, it seems like there's plenty of browse, but I haven't spotted like, you know, I can't see where they've been eating it. But I'm sure if we keep moving through here, we'll find an area that they're using. Yeah, so we'll try to show you guys uh, what we find on top of the ridge here. So we walked back into this this ridge. Danny shot that buck back here. Um, or at least after he shot it, it ran back in this area. But you could tell on this pretty, you can see the trail behind me. It's a pretty well beaten path. And um, there's a lot of good old rubs right here. A bunch of rubs. So we're gonna throw up one of our cell cameras here. And uh, Danny is about to use his DRT climbing method. So we can put the camera a little higher up the tree just so that uh, people can't take it. Oh. Pretty much, but I want to be closer. This, uh, this method still needs some practice. So close, so close. To the tree. How many tries is it gonna take? Comment below how many you think it's gonna take. Oh, hey, you wanna climb that branch? Fifteenth one is the charm, man. You can do this. He says it's good. The airport has wheelchairs. Just in case that branch doesn't hold you. Just want to make sure that if you fall, I get it on video. Yo, Danny. 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 Danny left me. He said he was just going to check one of the cameras so we can mark it on the map. He's gone. I've been alone out here for hours. I don't know what to do. So we're scaling up this hill. We found a uh, typical Arnold Schwarzenegger versus an alien, or predator, the predator movie, yeah. trap. See that? It's uh, being held up right there. You walk underneath it. There's a trip wire. It's a little bit of a thick one. That thing right there. Once you hit that, boom. Yeah. Swings down and knocks you 1,000 feet down.
guys, so we're uh, we're at the second spot we went to yesterday, and um, this is gonna be our last stop. We gotta catch our flight. We gotta leave here in um, honestly like two two and a half hours or so. So we're gonna run back. Um, put up a camera yesterday. We're gonna throw a lock on that, and then uh, make a loop to an area that we think is probably gonna hold a lot of bucks on. And we have three more cameras to put out, so we're just gonna put a bunch of cameras in this spot because honestly there, there's just been a lot of sign like I think there's a lot of bucks here so we're gonna just try and get as much information as we can and, and then just out. get giddy for the next month while we uh, get pictures on our, our uh, cell cameras. So. So this is this little bowl right here. This is exactly where I bumped two does out yesterday when I came walking out from the field. We're gonna follow this trail down the edge here. See what we can find. Guys, we just found marshmallows. They're the jumbo marshmallows. Apparently those uh, are from Kentucky. There's another one right there. They grow all over the place here. Oh, my stomach's growling from how yummy they look. So, we just got off this uh, little ridge up here and this is where we found the marshmallow plant. Um, we got a bunch of tracks cut across from this little creek, so we're going to go ahead and set up the camera. Try to see if uh, what's crossing here and it's worth entertaining. There's a lot of really good trees in this area to climb, and uh, you can, if you get up high, you'll be able to see them coming off the ridge and be really ready for them. Really cool, diverse type area. And yeah, I'll show you. So that's the, the ridge up there. Then you got this creek rolling through. And if you look back here, you have a lot of big mature trees that you can climb and set up a saddle in. And it looks like the deers are actually traveling through here, through this little opening and going back in there. The creek continues out that way. And if you get hungry, you can just come down and eat some marshmallows. Mm. That's a perk. Let's go around this way. So, another thing that we have to think about is that Right now it's super dry. These creeks behind us that we just went through are bone dry, but that might not be the case when we come back. And so like right behind me here, it's like a really nice potential bedding area that's right next to the creek. And there's a good browsing area back there. So if that creek gets water in it, there's a good chance that bucks might bed right behind me. So I'm trying to remember these things. So when we come back and things change a bit, we can react accordingly.
you see the deer that you blew out of there? What? Did you see the deer that you blew out of there? Yeah. Yeah, I saw it from the this far away. Was it a buck or a doe? I don't know. I just saw its ass. It was bedded, like right there. I walked up. <clears throat> I walked up on the... There's like a little creek bottom right down there. And there's like a weird ridge going across it. Maybe, maybe it's part of this wall that we've been seeing? It might be, I don't know. But it's like, it's almost like a dam. Like, the creek's like this. The creek's actually like redirected around the dam. Anyway, I walked up on the dam, and there's like a trail coming over, and a trail going right across the dam. It's a nice little intersection. I was looking down in there, I got on video, I'm like, that looks like great bedding down there. And then like, turn off my camera, take one more step, and then I just hear, and I look and I just see this butt bouncing out of there. It's like 20 yards from me. And then uh, it ran out that way and started blowing. So I put the camera right on the little crossing. It's kind of cool down there. The camera's on one of those trees with the crazy spikes. Oh, shit. Figured that way if anybody wants it, they're going to have to fight for it. Cool. Yeah. Alright guys, as I sit here and edit up this video that you're currently watching, it, it occurs to me that I need to preface this next part. See, the day before when we were in Kentucky, when we had finished scouting, we started heading back to our Airbnb and on the way, the entire place was crawling with deer. All the deer just seemed to come out of the woods and we were just seeing deer left and right all over the place on the road. Uh, in people's backyards and those giant bucks that we showed you right at the end of that video those were on private land we sat there filming them for a while and it really gave us hope that there are in fact giants in Kentucky and we were determined that on this second day that we were gonna find some giants on public land that we could actually hunt because as far as we were concerned those other bucks were untouchable and this is what happened What's up, guys? So, we were walking this little trail back here, and uh, we are like kind of glancing over the field. We just came across these two monster bucks. Um, I was out here yesterday, and I saw a doe and a buck feeding right down behind us here. So, coming here this morning, we knew there's a good chance we were going to see stuff feeding out here. We didn't necessarily expect we were going to see those studs, but uh, we, came, we came over the hill. <laughs> we both spotted them at the same time, and just like it was like somebody flipped a switch, turned off our brains. We just hit the dirt. <laughs>
So, aside from the two giants that we saw, like, forget we saw those. Which area, we'll call them one and two so people don't know what we're, which areas they are. Which area do you feel has the best sign? Like if you hadn't seen those bucks, which area would you go to? I think that's that one. Is it? I mean, you should look at the map. We should probably find out, yeah. All right guys, thanks for checking out another one of our scouting videos. If you haven't seen last week's video yet, uh, in that one we put up the first half of the scouting trip. This one was the second half, so uh, before, oh, I guess you've already watched it because this is the end. <laughs> All right guys, thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, this is probably our last scouting trip before we actually get to hunt. Next week I'll be hunting, so if you guys haven't subscribed yet, make sure that you do that now so you can check out all of our hunting adventures. We really appreciate all the support we've been getting. So if you like this video, give it that thumbs up, drop us a comment, and uh, tell your friends about the channel. And if you want to support us a little bit more, check out our Patreon page. You can check that out at www.patreon.com slash swamp and stomp. There you can support us by donating a monthly, uh, a small donation every month. Uh, and it really helps the channel out. So thanks guys, we'll catch you guys next time.